Okay, folks, how you doing? Joseph here, aka Wethead, my boy Robert here. Today we're going to show you how to uh, take the impeller off the Hayward Powerful Pump and how to access the seal. Um, if you have the Hayward Powerful Pump in your backyard and you've been told that you need a new seal and you need to change it, we're going to show you how to do that today. Right? Yep. All right, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to need a few tools, right? Robert has laid those out for us. We're going to need, what is this, Robert? A hammer. A hammer. And we're going to need some flathead screwdrivers in a different couple's different sizes. we got a big one here, a little bit smaller. We have a nut driver here, which is uh, a quarter inch in size, and a little small screwdriver. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is the first thing you want to do is remove the little clip here in the center of your pump, just like that. That will allow you to turn the glute back and forth side to side just like this. Okay, now you see there's a bunch of nuts and bolts here on each side on the bottom. We're going to remove those. Okay, now as we're removing those, Robert's going to tell you about this drain plug and why you want to remove that. Why do you want to remove that drain plug, Robert? What will that do if you open that drain plug? That will allow you to get the water out, right? Yeah, it will allow you to drain it so you don't have any water shooting up in your hose. Right, exactly. So basically, before you take, you know, after you obviously disconnect this, disconnect this pump from your pool, you're going to bring it over to like a workbench or something to, re, you know, rebuild the seal. You're going to want to make sure that you remove this drain plug. So Robert, grab a small screwdriver over there, or, or this screwdriver here. Take out that drain plug and show these folks uh, how that drain plug comes out real quick. So basically, just use a little screwdriver there. You can use a pair of pliers if you like to. And just like that, and then water will pour right out of here. So there's your drain plug. Now we're just going to flip this back the other way, just like this. So we can take out these bolts here, just like this. Now, you know, they might be a little more, if you have an older pump, they might be a little harder to take out. They probably won't be able to get them out as fast as I am. But, you know, take your time. It's no rush. I'm just trying to move this along for video purposes. So we have a couple on the bottom here, too. Now this is exactly why you want to make sure the pump has been drained because if you're flipping it upside down like this and you are working on a workbench, especially like you know, a stool in your workshop, you'd be pretty much soaking wet at this point. <laughs> because a little water would fall out. Okay. Now we'll remove this. This is called the volute, or the wet end of the pump. We'll remove these two bolts from here. Place everything to the side. This is where your pump basket is. You want to also open this up now, take the cover off, make sure this o ring here, you can take a little flathead screwdriver and pop this little o ring out here. You want to make sure this o ring passes the test, the stretch test. Robert will show you. Stretch your o ring and make sure it doesn't stretch. Not too much. I mean, you don't want to, you don't want to stretch it all the way out, but if, it, if you pull it like this and it breaks, you know, you, you're done. So then you want to pop that back on the cover, just like that. And then you want to make sure you take out your basket here and clean that. Okay, once you do that, there's also another little O-ring right here. Take a little flathead screwdriver, you can pop this O-ring out. You want to do the same thing, stretch test. Make sure that O-ring's in good shape, visually inspect it, make sure there's no cracks. Okay, now, here's where we see the impeller. The impeller is right here. This is the eye of the impeller. Water actually gets sucked into this. Basically, if you had this part here, water would get sucked in through the pump, get strained through the strain basket, which is here, go in through the pump, and they get sucked in to the eye of the impeller right here, just like that. And then once it gets sucked in, it would spin around and shoot out the discharge. So what we're going to do is here is a little cap on the back of your pump. You're going to take a little small flathead screwdriver. You're going to pop this out just like this. And then what you'll see is there's a little groove that you can stick a big screwdriver in just like this. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to stick a screwdriver in like that. Now with the other hand, you want to grab your impeller. And what you're going to want to do is just spin the impeller. Now, this impeller is a little loose today. We got this one off easily, but a lot of times you'll get stuck. So you can do something called an impeller wrench, and there'll be another video showing you how to get off stubborn impellers. Because to get into that now is it's complicated. It takes a few minutes, but basically try to grab it as hard as you can and spin it. A lot of, Sometimes you'll get lucky, and you'll be able to spin it off. So let's just say this impeller came off easy, because we'll get into another video on how to get off stubborn impellers. But so let's say you, you spin off your impeller here. So once you spin it off, You'll see here's one part of what they call the mechanical seal on the back. And if you take a little screwdriver here, you can take it under the seal. And what you do is you want to, you could pop the seal right off the shaft. See that? So here's one part of your seal. 
Now, if you're looking for a new seal, this is either a PS201 or a PS23, I mean a 2131. We have those in the store. You can look at the video. We'll direct you to where you can get these seals right from us. We'll ship them out to you next day. Not a problem. Um, so that's how you get one part of the seal off. Now, that's, this is the one part of the mechanical seal, okay? This is the spring section. You also have the seat of the seal, which is inside here. If you look in there, you can see that white. Okay, now, in order to get that off, we're going to have to do something called removing the through bolts of the motor. Now, if you look at the back of this motor, there's four bolts that are going to remove this section of the fog housing. So now you can have your handy-dandy nut driver, just like this. And you're going to want to unspin these four bolts just like this. So you got four of them. One. Now, sometimes these bolts are stubborn. If you're working on an old pump, it's not going to be this easy. Let's be real. It's going to be stubborn. You know, you might be saying, you might be swearing at this point, depending on, you know, how you handle things. But this is for demonstrational purposes. You basically need to get these out. Okay, so you have four of them right here, just like this. Once you take the four off, you will then be able to take off the front. This is called the seal housing. You put them over on the side over here. And now the back of your seal, you can see the back of the seal there, and then the front of your seal. You gently want to take a little screwdriver like right this, and you want to just pop out the mechanical seal, the seat of it. Now sometimes it's going to be silicone in there, depending on the age of it. Sometimes if your seal is bad completely, it just might pop out. But there you go. There's the, there's the second half there. So basically the way this starts, there's two, there's two parts here. You have the ceramic disc, and then you have this face here. See how they're really flush? If you look at those real carefully, you can see that this, these platforms are really flush. So what happens is this, this seals like this, because basically you have to stop the water that's obviously in here from the impella. All right? You have all this water that's in here. You have to stop it from going out that hole. So how do you really do it? You know, what you want to basically do is you want to make sure these two things are touching perfectly. See that? So what happens is as this spins, they touch so perfectly and the spring tension stays on there that no water actually ever comes out. So what happens after a while, these go bad. Sometimes what can happen, the pump can run hot and the surface here will you know, become warped or wear down and it won't make that seal anymore. So what you have to do is actually change that. So that's basically how you get the seal out. You know, you take it off this one section here. Now to put it back together is the, the complete reverse of how we did it. But basically you want to get your new seal, you want to lubricate the inside of here. You want to slip that back on side, inside the impella, just like that. Then you want to put a little bit of silicone on the outside edge of this. You want to place it right inside here. Make sure it fits nice and snug inside your seal housing. Make sure that's snug. So then what you would do, I like to do things simple. So I will always like to put a couple of my through bolts right through this motor here before I put my uh, housing back on. That way I at least, you know, I know that uh, all the bolts are. Basically, you want to remember what position we're in. Okay, remember some pumps are some pumps have the side discharge, some pumps have the top. So you want to make sure you have it the right way when you took it off. You want to make sure you line your through bolts up with the little brass inserts on the back of the seal housing here, like so. And to do so, you can take your nut driver, right like this, rub it right on the through bolt. Just tighten this up, just like that. Sometimes you have a little bit of trouble getting through, you know. And then you know, obviously, when you're on video, you're like, "Oh no, I don't want to not get this," you know. Yeah. So they basically just tighten your through bolts up like that. Okay, make sure they're nice and tight. Make sure everything's snug. Okay, what you want to do is take a bigger screwdriver, just make sure your shaft is still spinning freely, which ours is. Take the little cap, place it in the back. Bam, just like that. Come over to the front of your pump. You're just going to spin your impella on, just like this. Okay, if you want to leave it a little, one half turn loose and then just plug it in real quick, that will suck the impella just like that. 